come mess with the Xbox 360 with us. Okay, so I don't know if we've talked about this as part of like the random little spurt of crap we bought, but I got a Vita memory card. And so I was just going through, and because I never had space, I never downloaded themes, and I decided to go see what they have available. I'm amazed the NFL, even though the Vita's been defunct for a while, the NFL hasn't had something to say about that. It's kind of funny. I almost want to buy it. <laughs> oh, yeah, and for reference, this is the end of June in 2024. Step tumble down on any ugly and make them as ugly as they could possibly ever be. It's kind of going behind the car now, but if you saw that Santa Fe, Jesus Christ, oh, why is it so ugly? Well, I mean... What they do to the back? It's so ugly. It's, they tried to make ugly. it look like a Ford Flex. Well, yeah, because the that was honestly uh, that was probably one of Hyundai's best looking vehicles besides. Oh no, that was probably that was probably one, at least in their top three. And now all of a sudden, Ooh, what it, is that? a body solstice. But now all of a sudden they've turned it into a stubby, no ground clearance version of a Ford Flex, and they actually did sit pretty high too. They were a fairly yeah, that thing Not power-wise capable, but ground clearance-wise capable four-wheel drive. That thing was hideous. Uh-huh. Um, so we're at Front Street Market, and we determined that's a Montana plate, that's a Montana plate, and that's a Montana plate. And obviously, we have a Montana plate. I don't think that's ever happened when we've been here. I think I cut him off, but Matt said at least during summer. Came out, like, maybe a year ago at most. Yeah. And it's incredible. I wonder what they did to it. They better not have massacred my boy. I accidentally just ended up on this screen explaining Gamerscore. Windows phone. Interesting. I don't know how long that's been dead. It's been a while, I think. Okay, here's something that's not very nice. Another thing that's not nice about digital. I think I mentioned this game at some point during something when we were dealing with Xbox. But this is clearly inst very clearly installed. And there's a bunch of game packs installed. But when you go into my game list, it doesn't show up at all. And it's just kind of, it actually shows how impressive it is that there are still PS4s out there where people are selling them for ridiculous amounts because it still has PT. Because even with it installed, which I think some PT copies were getting an update that uninstalled it. But... This thing's still fully installed, and I can't do anything with it. It's there, but... Yeah, it's just kind of... Unless, I mean, maybe I am missing something. Because I guess they do all say game packs, but still. It's just another one of those things with game preservation, where if it's digital, even if you have it installed, they can revoke access. It's kind of nuts. So I'm also going through and finding anything I uninstalled that might be worth having on here um what was groove was that thing that was on zoom mm -hmm. what was groove microsoft groove no i mean i guess i could look it up but you know i'm kind of it's more of a bringing up a thing from the past than a actual question and also some of the vagueness on some of these like free challenge pack flashback multiplayer pack i mean obviously once you click on it it tell you what game but if you're trying to go through it semi quickly and then there's not a count so i don't know if it's like oh there's two thousand things to look through i don't want to click on every single thing that's vague because then you get down here split screen pack obviously that's madden but then nissan tournament pack that could be almost any racing game free for all pack that could be a lot of stuff for play pack i mean that's obviously bioshock but yeah just It'd be nice if the descriptions were nicer. I guess even the store on the modern consoles is kind of like that sometimes, though. See, and then there's weird stuff like this, because this is an add-on for Left 4 Dead. But then there's also Doritos Crash Course, which I know Doritos is in front of the name, but for a split second, it's a little confusing. Okay, now I'm really interested, because the only thing that this has happened for is this. And I don't know what that is, and I would kind of like to know. Army of Two map pack. Presented by Pontiac. And apparently, specifically, the Pontiac vibe. Oh, yeah, and I'm obviously... I'm trying to see 
if I can force game him to work just out of curiosity. Gears of War multiplayer map pack one. Brought to you by Discovery Channel, apparently. There were some weird partnerships. Like the Pontiac one would make sense on a racing game, but Army of Two. Yeah, and considering that's from the era of basically anything that had even a tiny online component having an online pass, just online pass, that's kind of hilarious. This might be from the era when um, Marshawn Lynch was all into Skittles. But, yeah, a bunch of Skittles. NFL stuff for your avatar. Oh, and gamer pictures. I'm not a big fan of the destruction the rabbits bring where they ate that bark on those bushes and now they won't grow and when they get in cars need the wiring. But I think it must have been trying to get underneath this corner of the roof because there was a little, little tiny bunny about the size of a softball right there a second ago. But my phone was downstairs so I had to spring to go get it. I walked very slowly across the house so I made as little noise as possible until I got to the stairs. Apparently I was too loud. I guess let's go see if maybe it's out here somewhere. Nope, it must have fallen wandered off fully. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one.